Hey everybody and welcome back. So in this video we'll be going over the concept of hollowing your throat and we'll learn two new sounds, the hollow claps and uh, a second kind of hollow clap. I don't know their names really, but they're fun. So uh, the hollow, hollowing of the throat is a huge concept in beatboxing I think and I'll be going over some hollow sounds in the future so I thought I'd uh, get this out of the way so it's clear. All hollow sounds are basically based on the same concept, which means you create more space inside your throat. So you can uh, kind of transform sounds that sound uh, uh, simple into hollow sounds. For example, clubs. This is the sound kids usually uh, do when they imitate wall clocks. If you hollow your throat, it kind of becomes like this. Okay, so what you want to do for hollowing your throat? Let's start by um, simply saying okay again. Okay, okay, okay. Now focus on the K position. Your tongue is pressing against the roof of your mouth. It's kind of building up pressure in your throat. And when you release it, uh, you get the K sound. It's pretty simple. So pressure, release. Now next, I want you to do the K sound inward, so breathe in into your lungs for this stage and uh, keep your tongue in the K position and release it just the same. Exactly the same concept. Now level 3 or step 3, uh, instead of breathing into your lungs I want you to uh, make more space inside your throat. You can think of uh, the sensation of yawning, which is, you know, <sighs> I'm so tired. You know, when you yawn, your throat naturally expands. This area becomes larger. If you are a man, like I am, you will see your Adam's apple drop. It's a noticeable drop. So if you create more space inside your throat, this way you can also kind of simulate breathing in, but this way you also get the hello sound into different sounds. So what you want to do is take the K position uh, just like last step and then instead of breathing into your lungs I want you to keep the tongue firmly pressed against the roof of the mouth and expand your throat as if, as if you were hollowing like so you can see in the beginning uh, there's a lot of pressure and my throat kind of flexes might look pretty gross, but uh, just bear with me. When I release the pressure, the throat drops immediately. So this, if you manage to do this, you have basically done the hollow uh, throat position. Uh, most sounds don't, they aren't usually like the K, uh, but I want you to focus on the, the, the throat part. So if you think about the club sound, If you hollow your throat while doing this and kind of use the throat uh, hollowing as the source of airflow, the sound will naturally become hollow on its own, like so. What is the difference in my throat? If I do the normal cup, the throat is, uh, it doesn't drop down, like this part doesn't drop down. Then when I do the hollow clap. drops uh, down a couple of centimeters. So basically for the hollow claps, do the exercise, uh, get your throat hollow and then uh, just do the clap. It'll be uh, really uncomfortable in the beginning, but after say a day or two, it'll become very natural. And this is one of those sounds that is uh, really reliable once you learn it. Now, um, second sound is almost like the club sound. It's uh, this. The tongue is basically uh, slapping against the, uh, the, the bottom of the mouth, I guess. And um, this is basically the very same thing, just uh, hollow your throat after you get this. 
Now the throat, the throat kind of drops, drops again. This is one of those fun sound effects you can do at parties, you know. Uh, it sounds like somebody drinking from a glass bottle. So if people are, you know, discussing what some uh, guys did over the weekend, you can go like... And everybody will kind of, you know, understand what's going on and it'll be a good time. Uh, so in closing, I guess... Um, yeah, I think this sounds pretty simple. It took me like one of one or two days. I learned this like 14 years ago, long time. So I've known it for a while. Uh, I haven't forgotten it uh, during all that time. So I guess this is one of those sounds that you kind of learn once and never forget. So if you have any questions, ask me in the comments, but I think this is quite simple. So I just wish you good luck.